Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a Battle Factory Live today. I know it is Wednesday. This is normally our RU Live or NU Live session. However, I am pressed for time. It is currently 2.40 a.m. I need to get to bed. And uh, I, th this is, today is Tuesday, so, uh, well, technically Wednesday, but I, uh, I don't have time to look for an RU team, unfortunately, and I don't have time to build one either. Uh, I didn't, You'll, you guys will see throughout the entire week that I'm lacking in creativity, so uh, we'll just jump into a Battle Factory Live for today. I hope you guys don't mind too much. This is still fun. This is, uh, we have a really cool um, random battle live session coming up tomorrow. Uh, it's about 50 minutes long, so get ready for that one, but it's with a couple of the guys from the NBA. Uh, it's a really uh, fun, fun live. Cool to have a couple of people on, so... Uh, hope to have more of those in the future. Obviously, if you guys saw Heat in a Jar, that was also with uh, quite a few people on board. So a lot of the same people joined this time around. Colton and Adrian are there. So let's just hop into it. Let's get a couple of uh, Battle Factory battles and see if we can uh, take some games. And uh, it is 2.40 a.m., so I guess what's going to happen now? We are pausing. All right, guys, and we got one. wasn't as long as I thought it would be. Uh, it was actually only um, it was only about two minutes, so... That's not too bad. Why does this guy look like he actually has a real team? Like, this was, like, built by him. <laughs> Yo, man, T-Tar plus Bisharp. Two Pursuit Trappers, you know, just to just to make sure. Staraptor sweeps. Got a couple of Flying Types ourselves in Zapdos, Talon, Flame, and Latios. Very nice. Uh, we actually have a Pursuit Trapper of our own with Choice Banded T-Tar. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Choice Scarf Terrakion. Who's our Rock Setter? Okay. Skarmory plus Spikes. Nice, nice. I like uh, all right, so uh, you know what? We'll lead with T-Tar because I'm expecting the Raikou lead. Nope, it's gonna be T-Tar of his own. We can risk the speed tie right here and go for a superpower, uh, but I'm not feeling it. I'm just gonna switch into Skarmory actually. It's just my safer play. And uh, he, as he goes for Stealth Rocks, okay, so he's that variant, which means he's probably really, really slow. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks on my own as my opponent is gonna go for an Ice Beam. That's gonna take off 31, not too much. What are we? Custap Berry? Ooh, that's cool. So three Ice Beams will, will put us in range. Uh, we'll go for spikes right here as he goes for another ice beam that's fine we'll go for spikes again and he ice beams us one more time and now we will go for the brave bird to cover a switch i believe is our best play and uh, we'll knock ourselves out with that we'll be able to go into our terrakion after and i think just like demolish his team from there on out uh let's go into that and uh what switches in on a close combat Choice Scarf Close Combat from 357 attack with max layers up. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for him to switch into. His only switches are Latios and Togekiss, so I'm actually going to go for a Stone Edge. As my opponent decides to stay in uh, and go for a Stone Edge, which is resisted, which I don't really understand. But now we're locked in. We're not going to switch out. We're going to stay in here. Uh, we're just going to uh, spam this move. He goes for a Stone Edge of his own, not knowing that it's resisted, I guess. I don't know where am I on the ladder on Battle Factory. Hold on a second. I know it's late and I'm just getting a bunch of battles, but we actually missed that Stone Edge. Very unfortunate because the next one won't KO. And uh, that's going to leave him at 8%. He's going to Ice Beam again, leave us at 21. Hopefully this one connects. We're going to have to save our three Stone Edges for Latios, Staraptor, and Togekiss. Uh, but for the rest, for the most part, we can just fire off close combat, so it's not too bad. Uh, where are we on Battle Factory? Uh, yeah, 5 and 3, 13, 34. Not bad. Ignore my OU record. It's looking really bad right about now. <laughs> 17, 39 is good in points, but... Uh, so he decides to bring out his Latios. Interesting play. Uh, I'm going to go into Titar right here, because my opponent's just been attacking, unless he actually wants to go for a Defog uh, on this turn, which would be fine. I don't really care. Um... He's going to Mega Evolve, go for the Psy Shock, and I am going to go for the Pursuit, uh, and uh, Earthquake comes out from my opponent, not wanting to switch. Pursuit is going to be able to take out the Latios. My opponent does not know what switching is, apparently, so we are going to take advan full advantage of that, and uh, switches into Bisharp, okay. Very threatening Pokemon. Um, Zapdos can take it on, though, right? Uh, so can Talon with Bulk Up. As well uh, and we are itemless talon flame as well so we should be able to take any hit this thing wants to go for I would just need to roost up first uh, I'm gonna switch into Zapdos on this thing if he wants to go for a swords dance whatever but uh, I'm just gonna switch here so he goes for a low kick does nothing again my opponent does not know the concept of switching so I'm just gonna fire off a heat wave right here 
and be able to uh, knock this thing out. 303 special attack, yep. Uh, knockoff is actually, his uh, Bisharp is actually faster than us, but Heatwave is going to eliminate the Bisharp. Our Zapdos is now in range of Stealth Rocks, unfortunately, but I think our, our Latios might actually be our Defogger, so it's not too, too bad. Um, might be able to get the Zapdos back in here later on against the Togekiss, if we can get rid of Rocks, but don't really want to do that when I have max layers up, uh, unless I get a little bit of chip damage on the Togekiss and the Sraptor first. Uh, then I don't mind it too much because the only thing that's taking spikes at this point is the Raikou. So, not a big deal. Let's see what my opponent wants to do. I'll start the timer right here. And uh, we will pause until he chooses a move, guys. Alright, so Raikou decides to come in. Interesting play. Um, Terrakion resists rocks, so that's not bad. Actually, Zapdos is our defogger. So... Hmm. I would think the Thunderbolt is coming, right? Do we just sack this at this point? Because this is our defogger. You know what? I'm going to go for Heat Wave. Uh, he goes for Hidden Power Ice. Very good play. Very, very good play, actually. Uh, don't know if that's uh, Specs or not. I'm going to go into Terrakion. And I'm just going to fire off a Close Combat. Because, again, my opponent hasn't been switching at all. And uh, if he goes into Togekiss here, then good on him. but Or her. Uh, but I just want to take out this Raikou right here, right now. Knock it out. Shouldn't be able to take this close combat from 72. And it does not. And we are able to pick up that kill. Now I can swap out my Terrakion and just go for uh, Stone Edges from here on out. Scarf Seraptor does not uh, outspeed us. Uh, on this thing, I just want to switch into my Titar. And uh, it might go for Defog right here, which would actually benefit us in, uh, to some extent. Getting rid of Rocks for Talonflame. Yes, it does indeed. And min speed Togekiss, do you outspeed my Titar? That is the question. Let's find out. Uh, if he switches out here. No, we do actually outspeed. Awesome, okay. So there goes that. And even if he's choice scarfed uh, Staraptor again, our, um, our Terrakion outspeeds it. We can go for the close combat and follow it up with an acrobatics from itemless Talon Flame and finish up the game. So. Let's go for a Stone Edge right here as my opponent locks himself into close combat, potentially. Uh, I think Terrakion's close combat is now able to pick up the kill on Staraptor, seeing it as, as it has minus one defense, and we are faster than this thing because we are Scarfed. So, goodbye Staraptor, that should be the end of the game. We will see in a second here. As I just finished uh, recording both of my, uh, my team builder videos for this week, so uh, three videos in one day, man. Bulk recording is not easy, uh, let me tell you something. I now have a huge respect for uh, YouTubers like Shady Penguin that can record like 12 or 13 videos in a day. It's it's very, very demanding. Uh, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of focus and uh, determination <laughs> and uh, also a lot of drive because if you, don't have, uh, if you don't have the drive to be able to do that and you get uh, lazy and decide to go take a nap, then it's, uh, it's, it's no bueno, so. Uh, a lot of respect for people to do it. We are able to pick up the win on the first battle. And uh, we're able to get one immediately on the second one. Uh, this one's going to be what looks like PU because Rampardos is here and so is Marowak. So uh, we'll jump right into this. Yeah, Monferno is still PU as well, I believe. Um, Progly is, a, is just a general really good lead. My opponent has their own Progly, but this thing is so good. It's fast. It's uh, It's got fake out pressure. Just beats a lot of things in this tier. Really, really nicely. Able to break focus sashes with fake out. U-turn out. Do we have U-turn on ours? Uh, we actually have knock off and, re and return. Which is not bad. Wake up slap is actually really cool. To be able to hit uh, quad effective on uh, on quad uh, fighting weeks. Like, um, such as Ponyard. Ponyard is, uh, is one of those in this tier. So, let's lead with Progly. My opponent's uh, taking their time choosing a lead. Usually a very good, uh, very good decision. For you to take your time and choose your leads, guys, and really analyze what the best possible option is. My opponent has a gold duck, which, as we all know, is a very threatening Pokemon and can sweep teams in random battles. So, uh, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that one from last week, go check it out. Uh, that gold up, uh, gold duck sweep at the end on the last battle is pretty crazy. It's really, really good. It's a, it's a semi sweep. I don't end the game with it, but you guys will see. Anyway. So, uh, again, I think I'm going to have to pause this video because uh, my opponent's taking quite a while, even after having started the timer, so we'll be right back, guys. 
All right, so we got leads here, and my opponent decided to lead with the Golduck, which we actually outspeed, which is very nice. Uh, this Pokemon actually outspeeds Kadabra, if I'm not mistaken, as well, which is really cool. I'm just going to go for the Fake Out right here as my opponent switches on an Irelicanth. Good play, but resist it, obviously. And i um, not sure if Wake Up Slop is actually going to do that much, seeing as Fake Out did almost nothing. Uh, kind of just want to switch into Semisage right here. Rocks are probably going to go up this turn, so yeah, I'm going to pull that switch. Uh, very, very much doubt my opponents. Never mind. Uh, I was about to say gonna attack me here, but uh, obviously they decided to. Uh, if he is locked in with a choice band, I'll be able to go into Marowak here. I actually just want to go for the uh, knockoff right here, covering the Altaria switch. We are able to get rid of his stone plate, uh, and Waterfall is gonna bring us down very low. Uh, my opponent doesn't seem to want to switch once again. Not the type, but uh, will on this turn actually. Uh, Stone Edge hurts this, and it hurts it a lot, so let's go for that. I don't really want to give this a thing a chance to, uh, to Dragon Dance up for free. Thick Club and doubles your attack? Whoa! Alright, I did not know that. Uh, Fire Blast is going to come through and be able to knock out our Marowak right there. Cryogonal is going to put pressure on this thing immediately, and, uh, we have Hidden Power fighting for the, um... For the Relicanth, I'm going to go for the Freeze Dry right here. I uh, will be able to knock out the Altaria. We are not Life Orb, we are Leftovers, which is very nice. Freeze Dry actually hits a vast majority of my opponent's team. Uh, the Perugly decides to come in, which is a uh, cool switch. I'm just going to go straight into um, Rampardos right here because uh, Fake Out will be resisted. My opponent actually chooses to go for Knock Off. Uh, I don't think there is, well, there's Wake Up Slap that can come my way. Uh, we are Cold Barbarian Grumpig, which is not bad. Are we faster? No, we are not. Let's go into Grumpig. Prugly is an extreme threat. I do not like PU, man. I do not know these matchups well enough. Head Smash. I did not expect him to go for Head Smash either with Relicant. That was, uh, was a good play. Uh, I can't, uh, can't deny that. Gotta keep Cryogonal alive. It still puts in quite a bit of work. Uh, goes for the knockoff again on our Cold Barbarian, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, that would not have taken out Rampardos, but uh, I guess he predicted that switch. I'm just going to go for the Thunder Wave here. Opponent's going to go for Return and knock us out, which is fine. I'm going to switch into Perugly here, and we are going to go for our own knockoff, I believe. Or Wake Up Slap is actually pretty good right here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for Wake Up Slap. My opponent goes for Sucker Punch, so he's packing the Sucker Punch. Okay. Uh, Wake Up Slap is going to be able to take out Perugly uh, right there. Uh, Monferno just became a huge threat though. I think it actually just sweeps us, but uh, actually if we keep fake out pressure, it's not too bad. Uh, I just have to be sure I do that. So let's switch into Rampardos right here. Sack it off to probably a Mach Punch. Yep, there it is. Uh, curious to see how much this is actually going to do. Let's go for fake out right here. And uh, we'll test the waters on this thing. And I'm going to have to have Cryogonal come through here because I cannot switch out because that did not do enough. So, return. Mach Punch is going to be able to take us out. I think Mach Punch is just going to straight out take uh, straight out take out Cryogonal. And we have nothing to hit this thing anyway, so that's going to pretty much be a loss at this point. Yeah, that did 73. That's a 40 base power move. Oh, we froze the Monferno. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. That's not bad. <laughs> hold on. Uh, does Flare Blitz thaw you? Yes, it does. Yep, there goes that. All right. Well, any hope we had, it was gone <laughs> immediately. Um, let's get another one. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, again, these uh, these lives are just for fun. Ooh, my favorite tier. Are you? Yay. <laughs> Guys, if I haven't expressed it enough, I really don't like this tier. Especially that my opponent has a flag on and we have three ground weeks. Okay. This isn't going to be easy. All right. So, Bronzong's leading. Uh, yep. I've decided that his Bronzong is leading. There we go. And uh, we're just going to taunt this thing. We're faster. Get off a taunt. And uh, stop it from getting up rocks. Keep that from happening. Very nice. And then we'll just start up setting up some uh, toxic spikes. Um, kind of scared of the Doug Trio coming in right now. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to taunt this thing. Keep it. Uh, okay. He goes for Psy Wave. Wow. All right. Isn't that the one that varies in damage? Um... We're faster though. I'm just gonna go for Scald right here. He brings in his Dugdrio on this Scald, uh, which is gonna bring this thing down to 10% and we get the burn. So goodbye Dugtrio. Awesome. This thing comes in. All right, so we lose. Uh, <laughs> let's switch into Granbull here. I should be able to take this Earthquake, no problem. 
Uh, Earth power, actually. Okay. So it's a special life orb flag on. Awesome. Even worse. All right. Uh, Registeel. You should be able to take this. Even super effective. Oh, yeah. You take that. Oh, yes, you do. Thank you, Iron Maiden. Um, so rocks are actually pretty crucial. I'm just going to go for that. And uh, Earth Power actually has a chance to not to hit KO me here unless he gets the absolute max roll like he did right there. And I have no switch to this. I just, I cannot switch into this thing. <laughs> He's going to go for the defog, actually. Um, I'm going to go for the seismic toss and lower this thing even further. And you know what? Meloetta can take an Earth Power as well. Yeah, definitely. 33%, that's nothing. We can go for the Hyper Voice right here. It is Choice Scarf, not Choice Specs, unfortunately. Kind of want to double here, back into Registeel. Uh, let's see. Normally we can't outspeed this, though. He does switch into his Bronzong, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to get off that Hyper Voice. It's going to do absolutely nothing. Uh, this can sweep him, apparently. Let's go to Registeel. I want to get back up my rocks. He's got a defogger, but, uh, okay. Doubles back in a flag on. Very nice play. All right, all right, all right. This kind of player. Um, gonna go back into Meloetta. On the Roost, okay. And, uh, now we're gonna double back into Registeel. On, uh, on what I'm expecting to be a switch right here. Yep, there it is. Bronzong comes out. We are going to Toxic, the switch into flag on. There we go. We are going to get some residual damage on this thing. And we saw that a max roll before was able to do uh, quite a bit of damage, 48. So we're going to actually protect right here to get a little bit of leftovers recovery on his earth power. And now barring a crit, he shouldn't be able to take us out. Uh, I'm just going to go for the stealth rocks right here. Forcing him to defog pretty much uh, and not be able to go for roost. And uh, we're just going to go for the seismic toss right here. And he does actually go for roost, but uh, that's not going to help him at all. Uh, I'm just eventually going to be able to knock this thing out with the poison. And, uh, actually what I'm gonna do here is protect, and defog doesn't go through if you protect, I believe. Uh, nope, it does not, and his Flygon is gone, and our rocks up are, uh, are here to stay, excuse me. Uh, Registeel can actually still take hits pretty well. Not from this thing, I do not want to get, uh, destroyed by a Will-O-Wisp right now. What can I do to this? Actually, you know what, let's just Toxic. He Will-O-Wisps, so that's fine. I'm going to wear this thing down with Toxic. And Seismic Toss it, and pretty much just knock it out from here. Goes for the Swords Dance. This Seismic Toss should be enough to take it out with the Toxic Poison, and it is. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So, this is looking pretty clean. Um, made a couple of nice predictions. This thing is actually still a very big threat. I just realized. Um, gonna have to Seismic Toss. He misses a Focus Blast. Unfortunate for him. See if he's uh, leftovers. He is not. It does not look like. Nope. And uh, my opponent forfeited because he missed the focus blast. So uh, that's going to be game. If he was choice scarf or choice specs, I could have just brought in my quillfish after and started scalding everything. So uh, not a big deal. But um, let's get one last one. We're at 18 minutes. Should be able to finish this up in 25. Please do not give me like some kind of stall. We already got three battles, right? I think we got three. We're already two and one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so let's make it four battles. I know I'm, uh, I complained about it being late, but we can handle it. We can do it. We are the Aster Army. No, I'm not taking a drives fan base name. No, no way. Not doing it. Not doing it. You know what? I was thinking of, uh, what I can call my subs, and I like Masters, actually, because Aster and Masters, it's a play on words a little bit, and, uh, honestly, without, uh, without you guys watching my stuff, like, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be recording these videos if you guys weren't watching. If I was getting zero views on every video, I wouldn't bother, uh, honestly. I mean, I do make things that I want to watch and that uh, I want to enjoy watching when I play them back, but, like, realistically, if I want to make a future out of this, I need you guys around and uh, so always super appreciative of every time you guys like a video or uh, whenever somebody new hits subscribe, it's awesome. Uh, we're up to 51 subscribers by the time I'm recording this, so... I mean, already in a month and a half, I mean, 51 subscribers, most of them have been from joining leagues and stuff, but like just that, that alone and the fact that, um, that you guys are all still here and, and still watching videos, maybe not all of them, but some of them is really cool. So thank you so much. I'll just call you guys masters from now on. Uh, I'm not like 
under your control or anything. At least I hope not. I'm not a marionette, but uh, you guys are near and dear to me, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're not leaving yet. We still got a battle. I usually say that at the end of the video, but uh, we still got a couple of minutes left to go here. Uh, we're gonna lead with um, we're gonna lead with this thing because it hits everything hard. Clefairy. So how do you take a head charge, Clefairy? It's base 120, choice banded. Let's find out. Let's find out how Clefairy takes a head charge. Not very well. That's Eevee Light, by the way. Uh, Moonblast come through, doing 21%. So barely anything and there is no switch on his on his entire roster to this thing and it has a hundred accuracy Wow, this is even better than head smash Armoldo. I don't think you're living. Oh, never mind. That's resistant. Wait, what? Oh, I'm, it's a normal move It's not a rock move. Never mind. I was like convinced it was a rock move. All right, so uh, Armoldo How do you deal with Ponyard? Let's find out knockoff. Okay, get rid of the uh, the EV light very nice Now show me your switch into an iron head, please Actually, you know what? Let's just go for knockoff. Covering the uh, Swano switch. Because that's literally his only switch to a knockoff. Right here. We have 295 attack, I'm pretty sure. Uh, to an iron head, I mean. Uh, he actually goes into Machoke. Interesting play. Uh, gonna get rid of that thing, Zevia Light. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Mr. Mime is a pretty solid switch, as I do not believe this thing gets knockoff. He goes for a dynamic punch. We are able to quad resist that. That still does a ton. Um, but now we can get a pretty free Dazzling Gleam off, as long as we hit, of course. Psychic might be better, overall. Uh, yeah, it hits more things on his team, so... Uh, just gonna go for the Psychic right here. We do not hit ourselves in Confusion, and we are able to knock out the Clefairy, which is very nice. Swana is forced in, and we are able... Oh, what are we? We're Choice Scarfed. Oh, okay, this is gonna be nice to keep around. Um, we are just gonna switch into the... What? Print Plup on this? Yeah, I like Print Plup here. Uh, takes the hit pretty well from the hurricane if he even connects which he does not we're gonna go for the stealth rocks right here so My opponent decides to switch into Roselia very nice switch. Uh, I cannot do anything to this thing I am forced into cryogonal pretty much actually. I'm gonna go into tangle up first uh, And bait the sludge bomb as he actually chooses to go for toxic spikes. So now I'm going to switch out into cryogonal basically uh, threaten this thing immediately uh, I just didn't want Cryogonal put, uh, getting put to sleep. Uh, I love that this thing is Levitate. I actually just realized that. It's great. Uh, this is the second time we have Cryogonal this live? I think it is. Um, Alright, so Swana is O-Code by Freeze Dry, which is awesome. Uh, we'll be able to Freeze Dry right here on the switch to the Machoke, which gives him a free Dynamic Punch. That did 32. That was actually really solid damage. I like that. Um, we're going to switch into... I don't want this poisoned. We're gonna go into print plop on the dynamic punch. That's what we we're gonna do. Uh, he goes for a rest. Okay, cool. So we get in our print plop for basically free right there. And uh, now I'm gonna switch back into cryogonal. I think is my play, covering the Roselia switch. Uh, as he actually chooses to stay in and sleep talk a rest. Okay, I should have seen that coming. That was actually very dangerous. Um, I'm gonna go back into print plop here. Hoping that he actually hits me. I want him to knock me out. He actually gets rest again, okay. And I should be slower than this thing, so let's go for the Toxic. He wakes up, fires off a knockoff to get rid of our Eviolite. We are going to Toxic this thing, basically forcing another rest. I'm going to go for a Scald right here as he goes for a Dynamic Punch and is able to knock us out. But now his Machoke is Poison, and every time it comes in, it's going to be taking Poison damage, which is really nice. I'm going to go into our Mr. Mime, and he has to sack something else off here. Something is dying. No matter what, something is dying. Roselia is going straight down. Goodbye. To two. To two. <laughs> not to one. This thing is very bulky with an EV light, actually. Swana comes in. You're not taking this well at all. Nope. Uh, I'm afraid of this thing actually being scarfed as well. So I'm just going to switch into our Cryogonal, which can take a hit from this relatively well. He goes for a Scald. Uh, it's life orb. Okay, I should have uh, well. He didn't hit the, the hurricane. So there was no way for me to know that before uh, Again, I'm gonna switch out on this thing. I can't stay in uh, I have to go into tangle up potentially Yeah, tangle is fine. The toxic spike is kind of getting annoying. Uh, I might want to rapid spin that away at some point Goes for the rest uh, that would have been my opportunity right there to bring in mr. Mime afterwards, but Let's just go for the, uh, you know what? We have decent special attack. Let's go for the Giga Drain. That does 38. That's actually not bad at all. Goes for the Sleep Talk, gets the rest. Okay. Gonna go for another Giga Drain right here. All I need to do is avoid a Dynamic Punch for one turn. 
Uh, even if he gets a knockoff right here, it's fine. It's perfectly okay. Goes for the knockoff. That's cool. That's fine with me. Uh, we are faster than this thing. He is pretty much forced to switch out here. We are just going to go for the Giga Drain. And he lets his Machoke go down, actually. Okay. All right. Armaldo comes in. This thing's faster than me. Can hit me up with a uh, with an X Scissor. Actually, it might not be faster than me if it doesn't have speed investment. Normally, it does. It has like 164 speed investment. That's its typical set. I know because I use this thing in the UPA. That's what's always on the damage calc. So I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain again. Goes into Roselia. This is quad resisted. It's going to do nothing. Uh, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Fire, really hoping he doesn't have the Synthesis, which he could totally. That takes us out. Understandable. Uh, very strong move. Uh, this thing is actually also potentially faster than our Cryogonal, which is interesting. Uh, let's see. We need to keep Mr. Mime and Ponyard around, I think. Because Iron Head, Iron Head. Actually, hold on a second. Ponyard's not bad right here. No, I'm just going to go into Cryogonal, and uh, I'm just going to, uh, just going to freeze dry. Freeze dry is fine. We are faster than the Roselia. And uh, I can rapid spin on either either of the other two right here. I'm just going to go for the spin. Get rid of this Toxic Spike. Uh, allow our, our um, Buffalon to come back in later. I'm going to go into Ponyard on this thing. I'm going to fire off a big Iron Head right here. And uh, without the Eviolite, I will not be able to take a uh, an Earthquake from Glalie if it's rocking it. I don't believe so. We'll see. Uh, this thing has like nearly no bulk. We will see. We shall see. Uh, I'm going to go for the Iron Head on this turn. He goes for the Ice Beam. If he doesn't freeze us, we're good. And we knock out the Glalie. There we go. So we're able to pick up three wins and one loss. Very nice live, actually. Uh, very good uh, Battle Factory live. I'm happy with that. Glad I was able to stay up till 3.09 for this. So, again, uh, guys, if you enjoyed uh, my little rant there about how you guys are awesome and I'm going to start calling you masters and change up my intro, then uh, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the, to the channel. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is real this time. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.